Imagine this scenario. Your star candidate receives a job offer and you're sure that they'll accept, but suddenly they start to drag their heels. You're certain you've done everything right, the candidate's perfect for the job, and they wanted it too, but something has changed and the candidate is suddenly reluctant to sign on the dotted line. Don't give up yet, there's still plenty you can do to convince them. Here are five tips you can use to convince a candidate that a job offer is the right one and turn them into a bright-eyed new hire. Number one, create some urgency. A candidate standing at a crossroad, unsure of which path to take. Your candidate might have been the first choice for the role, but it doesn't mean they were the only good interviewee. Remind your candidate there's a time limit on the job offer as other candidates are still waiting to hear if they were successful. This way you'll create urgency and remind your candidate that the job is a highly sought after role. Number two, ask probing questions. Not every person will buy into urgency as a reason to accept a job offer. So put your detective hat on and ask some probing questions. Go back to their why. During the, your initial interview with the candidate, you would have had the discussion about their reasons for leaving, their current role or the reasons for applying for this role, so their why. Now that they're dragging their heels, it's the time to go back to their why. You want to re-establish those pain points as well as their reasoning for choosing this role. Number three, use the client feedback. We know you're a charismatic, likable recruiter and candidates love working with you, but what about the hiring manager? Perhaps the candidate isn't quite as taken with them. Talk things over with the client to get a good idea of what they like about the candidate then pass that along to the candidate. You might find that some good constructive feedback from the client is enough to push the candidate to pick up the pen, sign the contract and accept the job. Number four, get to the bottom of the problem. You've asked your candidate some probing questions, gone back to their why and shared client feedback with them, but they're still not convinced. It's time for some tough love. Be direct and ask your candidate what's changed to make sure to make them unsure of the role now. Number five, know when to say goodbye. When all is said and done, there are times when enough is enough. If your candidate is excessively delaying the process and preventing another candidate getting a chance, you need to pull the plug. Give them the choice, take the job now or walk away.